Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt King here with Funnel.Works and today we're going to be looking at how the countdown timers work inside of ClickFunnels. Alright, so I created a little opt-in here and we're going to go into this opt-in and I'm going to show you three of the different basic countdown timers that you can use inside of ClickFunnels and how to make sure that they work every single time. A lot of people are coming to me recently um, and asking me, hey, why doesn't my countdown timer work? And there's normally some really simple reason uh, why it doesn't work. So I'm just going to lay this out. I didn't think it was that big of an issue, but apparently it is. So guess what? You get a video. All right, you get a video. <laughs> you get a video. Everybody gets a video today. So I just made up a fake opt-in page here. And uh, what we're going to do is just, I'm just going to throw a countdown timer in there. You're going to add a new element here and uh, we're going to try and create a sense of urgency. Um, if you have something going on on a particular day, you could actually create a countdown that uh, actually happens to a particular date. So what we're going to do, let's look at this. Let's say countdown right here. We're going to add this countdown. It's actually kind of hard to see on this background. There's different themes. We're going to change this one to a nice bright yellow so you can see it. Uh, you can change the Somewhere in here, you can change the uh, the the color or the yeah the color of the letters where you can make it white so you can actually see that. So now we have a countdown timer. Too easy, right? I've had so many people come to me and say, "Why doesn't my countdown timer work?" Guys, this defaults to one one of 2017. That was over a year ago, almost a year and a half, I think, pretty much at this point, as of the time I'm recording this. Just click on that and set it to sometime in the future. Okay, look at this, 2000. 18, where is 2018? Let's see. Let's shoot for something like June 9th. Let's say you're going to have a webinar or an event or something on June. Uh, I don't even know what today is. I think it's June 11th. Um, let's say it's on the, the 23rd. Okay. At four o'clock, you can set the time for, make sure you select the time and it's actually, we'll say 2 PM. All right. Eastern standard time. English, you can actually translate this to different, I don't know, you can do that, it's translate to different languages, all right, expire, if you can actually set an action upon the time that this expires, so when this countdown timer uh, counts down to zero, you can set it up to redirect somewhere, so you can say, yeah, redirect over here, you can put in uh, some kind of a, a link, so just say, you know, because you don't want people to register for it if it's after the time, right, so you go, I want them to go to google.com or wherever you want. Maybe you have another page um, that says, hey, sorry, this is no longer available. Um, try again next time we open this up. This is how you do it, okay? So now that we've done that, we're going to hit save. Actually, let me look at that. I'm not worried about my SEO for this. It is a test, but you guys should. So it'll redirect after that. We're going to hit preview. And what do you get? 11 days, 17 hours, 10 minutes, and 18 seconds, continuing to count down. When that hits zero, we are not going to wait the 11 days. But when that hits zero, it will. anybody that visits this page will automatically redirect over to Google. All right. Well, that was one page. Let's look at a different time. I'm going to delete this. Delete. Let's look at a different type of, maybe you just want somebody to opt in and you want to create a sense of urgency. We're going to go back to those countdowns. Um, and you just want to set up like a, a minute timer, right? So click, select minute countdown. And we're going to select, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll do red this time, right? Remember, you come over here to the advanced, make that white so you can read it. If it's easier to read um, with the black lettering because you have a lighter background, of course, choose what's appropriate. Um, so here it is again. You can actually set this down to the hours, the minutes, the seconds. Um, so say somebody comes here, you want to make them go, oh man, I better opt in really quick. You set it to like uh, two minutes and 30, why won't my tab work? 30, 23 seconds or something, you know, just make it some arbitrary uh, number. And then you could have it redirect. Um, if you just leave it as default, it'll just redirect back to itself, to be honest. But every time they hit reset, guess what it's going to do? It's going to come right back. That, that clock timer is going to reset. Okay. Or if they come back later, um, that's what it's going to do. So we'll hit save and we're not worried about that. We'll hit preview. Guess what? Two minutes and 23 seconds. All right. Two minutes and 23 seconds. Uh, let's try one more thing here. Um, so you guys see this, I'm going to show you, this has something different on here, the revisit action, and you can auto reset the timer, um, which is what I was just talking about, where when somebody comes back later, it'll just reset to two minutes and 23 seconds. 
Um, alternatively, you can auto expire. So if they come back, chances are they're not going to come back within that two minutes, right? So ex set it to auto expire and then set uh, when they can come back, when it's going to start working again. And it might be like seven days or something, right? So set that to auto expire um, if they don't do anything. And then, you know, seven days later, they can come back. Everything will work again as, as normal. Um, the other thing you can do is hide the timer. Um, so when they revisit, you can just hide the timer and then you can actually show something else like uh, maybe you have a text element in here that says something like, sorry, you missed it, right? So it says, hey, sorry, you missed it, right? And then what would happen would be settings, go to settings um, like this and then um, think what, what you would want to do is hide that. And then we're going to come back to here. Set, watch this. I'm just going to set this to like to three seconds or something, okay? That way you guys can see how it works. Three seconds. Redirect uh, to, I'm not going to use this. Redirect back to here. Auto expire for uh, X amount of time. Expires for seven days. Uh, oops, that wasn't what it was. Hide timer and show the elements. So when they revisit, um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. So it'll be like, five minutes and then that way it gives me time to do this it's going to hide the timer and it's going to show an element uh let's see if i can figure out which element it is actually oh button name element element button input input element header so it's probably this one right here so we're going to select that and what it should do is show that. Now what we're going to do is save that. Yeah, yeah, we know. And we're going to hit preview, and then we're going to hit the refresh button and see what happens. So theoretically, the timer will go away, and that other little thing down here will pop up. So we hit refresh. Bam, it says, sorry, you missed it. Okay, so that worked exactly like we, we wanted it to. Uh, thankfully, that worked. So just keep in mind, that's how this one works. Um, we are actually going to go in here now. And delete this, and I'll show you one more type. I've got a third type uh, of countdown timer. We're going to hit countdown. We're going to go to day timer, all right? So the way that this works, I'm gonna, let me click on this and change that over, of course. Uh, we're going to do uh, green this time, okay? And go to advanced. Make sure to change that to white so you can see it. That's my OCD kicking in. Settings. All right, every day, this is a, basically a day timer. Every day, you pick a time when this is going to count down to. So you, let's say you want it to count down to, uh, maybe you have a scarcity offer that every day your offer is going to end at a particular time, like 10 o'clock at night. Hey, you've got to get your thing in by 10 o'clock at night. So select 10, all right? Something I found out recently, um, I had a few people come to me going, why doesn't this work? And I checked it, and they had their things set to like 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, the timer starts at midnight, and then it counts down from there, okay? So um, it doesn't count down for 24 hours starting at 2 a.m. to the next 2 a.m. It starts at midnight as of the time zone that you select, and then counts down until that time. So if you select 2 a.m. and you're not up at midnight to see how this works, then it only worked for two hours, <laughs> all right? And then at 2 a.m. it expires, and it's going to read zero. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's not 24 hours that it's counting down. So um, what you would want to do is probably set it for, depending on who your market is, what you're selling, what time they're up, of course, um, set this for, say, 10 a.m. Uh, or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, redirect. You can do, have it do whatever you want this to do, show and hide elements, or just redirect somewhere when it expires, and then um, hit uh, save. Hopefully this works after I... Did the thing with the cookies earlier and then we'll hit preview and there it is one hour uh 10 o'clock record yeah that's about right one hour four minutes and 10 seconds so there you have it now you see how this works and um, hopefully you guys understand how all that works and when the best time to use that would be 
Um, I, there is another kind of countdown timer that you guys can use, and that is in a webinar funnel. I'm going to make another video so you guys can see the webinar funnel timers. They work slightly different, and they cannot be added in manually. You have to create a webinar funnel in order for that to work, and I'll show you that in a different video, okay? So that's all I've got. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Drop a comment. If you like our videos, hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave us a thumbs up, a thumbs down, and I will catch you guys in another video, okay? Take care.